Hello, Joel and the world of YouTube. I actually have something to talk about. Surprise! <laughs> so I went shopping the other day and I bought these shoes, Toms, they're called Toms, and they are honest to God, the most comfortable shoes that I have ever worn in my life. At work, I stand up all day and there was so much support and so much cushion in these and they're just so breathable. I bought these shoes and I had been wanting them for a while and I found out about this event recently that this company does and it's called One Day Without Shoes. Basically, this company is a one for one kind of deal. When you buy a pair of their shoes, they send a pair to a kid who needs them. And it's not just in Africa, it's in Argentina and uh, America as well. There are many kids in America who don't have shoes who need them. I'm not making this video so you guys will go out and buy these shoes. I'm making this video so that you guys hopefully will do this one day without shoes. It's Tuesday on April the 5th. I think it's an important event. Like at my university, <laughs> I'm not really organizing it, but I'm plastering posters around the campus and I'm talking to the president and I'm talking to other people who are on student council and being like, we need to do this event, it's really important. A lot of students at my campus are going to participate in it, hopefully. I know a lot of my friends are going to, but basically you just go the entire day without shoes just to raise awareness for the kids who don't have shoes. When people ask you, you know, why don't you have shoes on, you tell them, well, this company Tom's is doing a, a one day without shoes event. Uh, every April they do it. This is my first year doing it. And honestly, the, the stuff we have to deal with outside isn't half as bad as the stuff they have to deal with in Africa or in Argentina. So people who are like, Oh, it's gonna be too cold outside. Like, you're walking from what, your car door or from your house to the bus stop to the bus? Like, honestly, don't be a wimp, guys. Like, it's a one day without shoes. I'm pretty sure you can handle it. But I know that there are many uh, comments on the one day without shoes Facebook event saying stuff like, oh, there's many other things going on around the world like water and blah 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 you know what yes there are very many other things going on around the world and i know that and everybody else knows that but on april 5th we're focusing on kids who don't have shoes maybe on a different day or every other day of the year we'll focus on places that don't have water but there are many things going on in the world and on april 5th we're dealing with the kids who don't have shoes so for all you people who are like there are many other horrible things going on in the world, we know that, but it's one step at a time. <laughs> so um, I hope you'll do it, Joel. I, I know that um, maybe it might be embarrassing for some people, but I don't know. I really, I'm really into this and um, I work with kids in the summertime. I didn't do it last summer because I moved here, but I, I just love kids and I think it's really important, especially for kids who don't have anything who are less fortunate than us so yes i hope you you are doing a day with no shoes on april 5th and i won't see you there but i'll be attending as well so see you later this video is going to be a little bit extra longer just to let you guys know that there are two weeks left of school including this week so like one and a half basically and uh, these are mine and Joel's last video. We're taking a summer break, so we'll make videos whenever we feel like it. So, okay, so bye.